Um, I know you're saying it's a pop, but I look for young, right? You uh, I had, um, I, I've been involved with New Skin for about 18 years now. I started when I was six. When my, when my little daughter was about five, maybe six years old, one day I was working on the computer and she came up to me and she started to kind of tug on my jacket and she said, Daddy, uh, how do you make money? And I said to her, hang on, honey, I'm just, I'm just busy for a second. I'll be with you in just one minute. I'm just finishing doing something. And uh, so a minute or two later, I turned to her and said, okay, honey, um, now what did you want? She goes, oh, I wanted to know how you make money, but I figured it out. I said, really? Uh, how's that? She says, you talk and the money comes out of your mouth. Said, really? <laughs> very perceptive of the young age. Uh, a few years later, my, my youngest daughter, who's 19 now, she uh, said to me one day, Dad, what do you actually do? And I said to her, well, um, I, uh, I, 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 I talk to people. I, I, and she said, people listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Um, you know, when I look at this room here, I, I just see some, just so many bright and excited faces. And I sat in that success seminar today. Uh, what an incredible energy. The company does a great job of putting that together. Uh, you're so lucky to have a management here and the leadership here. Um, I, I want to give you a couple of, of hints, I think, for success. And the first thing is going to be around mindset. I, I can indicate a little bit, most people spend their life looking at their problems. Is that better? Am I talking talk loud enough? Yes. Most people spend their life talking, looking at their problems and thinking about their problems. Is it true? Who here has problems? Everybody. I have problems. Everyone has problems. The difference between people who succeed and people who fail are the people who fail continue to look at their problems and don't find solutions. They stop looking at their goals, they stop looking at where they want to be, they just look and focus down here on their problems. And the truth is, is that those problems are never going to go away if you just keep looking at them. You have to find solutions. And so, I want to give you, how, how many of you think that all your problems is the first time this problem has ever happened for anyone in the world? No. Every single problem you have would you say that someone else probably had the same problem before you? Yes. In fact, probably a million or more people had the same problem as you had before. Would you agree? Yes. So who would like to, to find a way I can teach you right now very quickly to solve every problem you've ever had? Who would like to know? Okay? Go to Google. <laughs> Type in your problem. Right? My husband doesn't support me. There'll be a solution. Get rid of him. <laughs> that was a joke. Woo! <laughs> I'll again on this joking. <laughs> Try communication, get counseling, do something else. But every single problem you have, there's a way to overcome it, isn't there? Yes. Absolutely. You know, my, my success didn't come easy. I had no money. I had, a, you know, I had three kids under five years old. We, we, we had a difficult time starting this business. Um, and and we, we live in a small country with 3 million people and 90 million sheep. The sheep couldn't use the products, so we were, we were limited to a very small... There was no internet, so we couldn't communicate to go around the world. I learned the business by fax. I would fax my question to my upline, and they would fax back the answer. That's how I learned the business. But instead of looking at my problems, I started to look at, my, at solutions. And so I found solutions to my problems, and I kept focused all the time on my goals. And what I want to encourage you to do is stop looking at the problems and start looking at the goals and start looking at the things that are important to you. And your leaders, I'm sure, have taught you this over and over again, maybe from a different voice, maybe today I'll make an impact on some of you. But I promise you, the only thing that will see you on the front tables here, eating on real plates instead of plastic plates, is for you to change